Holly here from Tully's Training. We are gonna continue our breed specific posts this week. Last week we talked about pit bulls and today we're going, or this week we're gonna be talking about retrievers. So Kyle's gonna be with you Wednesday and Friday of this week since he has a retriever. He's the resident retriever expert. Um, and I'm gonna be talking today with you guys about the history of retrievers. So retrievers are, it's more of a category. It's not a specific breed of dog. So there's several dogs that fall into this category that are more specific, but we're gonna kinda talk a little more general to start off with. So, retrievers are a type of gun dog, and their job is to retrieve game for the hunter after the animal has been shot. So they are not supposed to kill, they are not supposed to do anything except wait and once the hunter gives them their cue to go get the game, they're supposed to run in and gently bring it back. Now, there's three major classifications of these types of gun dogs. You have retrievers, you have flushing spaniels, and you have pointers. All these types of dogs do different jobs. And like I said, the retriever, what their job is, is to go in and retrieve the game once it's been shot. So um, there's one really important piece to that puzzle as far as these dogs go, and that is to make sure that these dogs have what's called a soft mouth. So a soft mouth for a retriever that's working with a hunter is really good. A hard mouth is really bad. And you can probably guess what that means, but basically, so I can explain it to you, if you have a dog who's retrieving a bird who's just been shot, and that's supposed to be your dinner, and that dog goes and grabs the bird and does what my dog would do, which is grab it, probably, rip it, probably pull it, put it on the ground, start pulling it apart, eating whatever it could. That's not gonna be such great dinner for you. You're probably not gonna wanna eat that bird after you, if you ever get it back. So not only do they have to retrieve the game, by, so giving, bring it back to the hunter, but they have to do it very gently so they cause zero damage to the animal that's just been shot. So that way, once they bring it to you, you can actually eat it and have a meal, which is the whole point of hunting. So that's really, really important. Um, now, retrievers kind of in the past, most of them were working dogs or sporting dogs that, you know, were hunters. But now there are retrievers that do lots and lots and lots of different things. So if you go to the airport and you see a working dog who's smelling people's suitcases, there's a good chance that that might be a Labrador retriever or a Golden retriever. And that's because these dogs do great scent work. So they use their nose, they're trained to find specific smells, and then they get rewarded once they make a hit. Um, they also use those types of dogs to sniff out bombs. They, um, another type of nose work that I've seen a lot of retrievers do is search and rescue. So um, if you go skiing, there's a lot of times, um, they call them avalanche dogs, and those dogs typically are retrievers, and what their job is is that if the, there's an avalanche that comes and buries some people on the mountain, they try to go find them in the snow using their sense of smell. Um, another area that we see lots and lots of retrievers is in the service dog category. So um, if you have some sort of problem that you need help with or assistance with and you need a service dog to do that, whether it's you know a seeing eye dog or emotional support dog or um, some people have those types of dogs because they have diabetes, um, those a lot of times end up being retrievers because they uh, have a, they're very easy to train typically and they're really smart, and they love just working with people, typically. <laughs> Not always, but typically they really, really enjoy working with people, and um, they enjoy the training process immensely, which is really important if you have a job, a dog that's working a job, which requires them to do training pretty much all the time. Um, so, like I said, there's several different types of dogs that fall into this category. The two most common that we see all the time and talk about are the Golden Retriever and the Labrador Retriever. Um, some of the other dogs that fall into this category are the Curly Coated Retriever and the Flat Coated Retriever. There's also the Chesapeake Bay Retriever and there is the Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever. And I looked it up and it looks more spaniel to me, but 
I'm not, I mean, whatever. <laughs> so uh, if I saw a Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever, I probably would say, oh, that's a spaniel mix. <laughs> um, there's a lot of really cool breeds of dog out there and it's always good to kind of look into, especially if you have a category of dogs like you say you want a golden, look into the whole retriever category and see what else is in there um, and see, you know, what else is out there to potentially bring into your home because there's lots of really cool breeds of dogs that we don't see very often. So um, retrievers typically live an average of 10 to 12 years and we joke with our retriever clients that they usually mature by age nine <laughs> and then they die by age 10. <laughs> so it's not funny, but um, that is to say, especially Labrador retrievers, they tend to mature on the late the late side of things. They tend to be late bloomers. God bless them. Um, so this is a dog that's going to have a lot of energy and have lots of, and be very active probably for its entire life. You're not, you're not talking about, you know, your two year puppy, uh, phase and then they're adults and they're going to be chill. Not usually with a Labrador or a Chesapeake or any of those types of retrievers. Um, they typically are very active for many, many years and very silly and very, um, goofy and get into things and you know they're really fun to have around but you do have to watch them pretty much their entire life <laughs> um, so the other thing that I just want to touch upon really quick is we mentioned that these are hunting dogs that means that if you um, you know every breed of dog falls into a certain category depending upon what the purpose is of that breed these guys fall into the sporting dogs so that is to say if you are thinking about adding a retriever to your house and you're a very your household and you're a very active family you like to go out and run and hike and climb and swim and do things and be outdoors this probably would be a great dog for you if you're somebody who really likes to lay low and hang out at home a lot and doesn't really like to do too much cardio or um, you know anything like that probably not the best dog um, one thing we hear people say a lot is that, you know, I really want to be more active. So I think, um, if I get a dog that's really active, then maybe, you know, it's going to encourage me to be more active and, um, don't do that. <laughs> Uh, really, if you, if, you, if you want your dog to make you be more active, then this is my rule of thumb. Start now. And if once you have kept up your active lifestyle for one year, then you are in a position to bring an active dog into your home. And then you'll probably have a great time. Um, but it's, it's not a good idea to um, expect a dog to motivate you to be more active or have a different lifestyle than you already have. And it's just not really very realistic. So, um, so yeah, be careful. Definitely, if you're not an active person, this probably isn't the type of dog that you want to add to your home. But if you are, they're really, really great. They're really fun, really smart, um, and we love them. So um, that's all I have for you guys today. Kyle Kittleson will be back. For the rest of the week, he's going to be here talking about retrievers and training and enrichment and all different kinds of things. So make sure that you come back on Wednesday and on Friday and uh, like this video and share it if you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much and I hope that you have a really great day.